Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and uh, I've lost count but I think uh, you're on the ninth place with 24 likes. Thank you very much for your likes and your shares. And these are the cards that I'm using this week. I'm using the uh, Shadowlands and I'm using the House of Shadows and I'm also using the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck and these are the cards that I'll be using for your reading this week also a postcard from Spirit and the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck and they're beautiful cards as you can see I do love my cards and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do remember this is um, a general reading so have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign if this reading doesn't resonate with you and now the rest of the spiel I'll keep until the end so please watch at the end if you would like to listen to the updates okay so this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and this is the querent card or the overall energy the overall energy or the Quirin card is the Page of Swords and the Page of Swords is Aquarius so you might be getting news from an Aquarius but don't exclude Gemini or Libra you'll get cyber news and cyber news consists out of email, telephone and text message that could be messenger, whatsapp or SMS as we all know we've got different options to get into contact thank goodness for that it really makes it much easier and you have the nine of pentacles on Monday so you might be feeling imprisoned at the moment like the cage is surrounding the ladybird <laughs> I love these drawings you might feel uh, locked up or you might feel trapped perhaps financially well on Monday there is a new day a new beginning of also a new week so Monday will be a good day something is coming to an end you might be uh, what will come to an end being feeling entrapped or locked up as uh, the lockdown is also easing up as well but the nine of Pentacles means that you might finally got this job or a promotion or a new study and that is going to bring in the abundance so you will get clarity that school is starting perhaps or that the business is opening up again awesome good news all round where there is an ending there is also a new beginning you do have recognition for your hard work as you've got the eight of pentacles perhaps you want to leave a legacy behind perhaps you might start this new study that's why I said school or college or university or business is opening up your boss might rec uh, um, recognize your hard work and determination over the last couple of months or eight weeks you might have been working from home and now that you're back in the office he will or she will say well done thank you for your support and your hard work over the last eight weeks or nine weeks thank goodness we are starting fresh again from the office but you've done so well that if you wish you can work two days from home so there will be big changes and I think there will be more people working from home because it is also helps the firm to save expenditure like travel costs and time costs for the travel all right and I've been already uh, seeing this eight or nine weeks ago and even forecasted it on Facebook on Friday you have the Sun card so you might be celebrating and you are in the spotlight definitely this week is a strong week to be recognized and being in the spotlight I know you're a fire sign Sagittarius so there might be another fine having a uh, sign having an eye on you and this could be Leo as this is the Sun and this is one of the most positive cards in the tarot deck 
So like I said, you will get recognition. You are seen by somebody. The boss, a boyfriend, a potential boyfriend, your partner, you are in the limelight. But something is also being illuminated. It could be that you are getting promoted or that you have a new job. Okay, but before you sign the contract or sign on the dotted line, have a look at the small print. Something is warning you. Something is being illuminated. Perhaps you might hear of a birth. This could be of a child. This could be of a job or another project. Wow. You might be traveling for work. You might be traveling, going on holiday or moving home. And if you have your own business, you might be expanding and moving the business to another premises. Awesome. Also, the sun means that you might go up a level in business or in relationship. It's number 19. So there you are. It is Sagittarius and Miss Sagittarius, the cat, Matis, has come to join me again for your reading. She always comes when I do Sagittarius. She's a Sagittarius herself. And I do have a little Leo on my lap. And that's Millie, the mask they're both the mascots from Charlie's Angel Tarot. But you will be back in balance again, okay? Nineteen becomes um nine and sorry, you will be back in balance again because nineteen becomes a ten, an ending, a new beginning. Boom, you're going forwards and upwards. Good news is on its way. It could be very big news, like I said. The sun is shining on you and if you want to get less stressed take some time out in the sun go outside and soak up the energy of the sun and the yellow light now on Saturday and Sunday you might be relaxing and you might have closed off all communi forms of communication you might have closed your minds to our new ideas. You might have, you might not see anything because you've got a blindfold off. You've also closed your heart chakra and your solar plex. So throw those two swords away. Indeed, take a little rest, but please open your mind to new possibilities. Take away mm, the the blindfold and open your solar system by throwing away the swords and open your heart especially to what is new coming to you you are in balance you've got a two here that means balance okay wow um you might have you might be taking time out to open up your mind to the possibilities that are in front of you and that are on offer to you because of all the news that's coming towards you. You, meet, you might need two days to take time out to think about it. Okay, for the first corner we have the birds. And the birds means that you are going to get news. Again, you have that feeling of entrapment. Okay, usually it is depicted with a bird flying away out of the nest. So, I always say leaving the group or flying the coop. That means the coop is like a hen house and that the hens always toggle and sit together like the birds do. So be careful of gossip. You might be going to meetings, gathering, presentations. So that might be the news as well. Perhaps you might be flying the coop. You will be flying or leaving the group. You might be leaving one kind of group and going on to an advanced group in study or a, a, a promotion into another group of other people that will deliver you more money. You've got the cage here and the cage here. You won't feel locked up anymore. This is the news that is being um, sent to you. So open your mind to new ideas and new visions or perspectives then we have the mandrake and that is um, a magical uh, root and the mandrake 
the mandrake is um, something that will says there is time. It's 337 and that becomes a 10, again an ending and a new beginning. Time to do something magical, like a ritual or a spell or perhaps something paranormal. If you are uninterested in the mystical and uh, firmly rooted in the mundane, this is a message to seek magic and adventure outside your normal daily life. In other words, the mandrake means get out of your comfort zone and the old way of life. You have all the empowerment, the luck, the recognition and the new beginnings to start again. So get out of your comfort zone. It's a lot like the house in the Lenamon. Don't lock yourself up, uh, off from the outside world. I know it's, it's, it's safe and it feels protected uh, like in the cage you know what happens you are stuck in the cage and you don't get any further so come on take that um, pick up those roots and move on and get out of your comfort zone open up in other words don't shut yourself off like you've done these two cards more or less mean the same Go into the sunlight, go into the new beginning with a knowing that you are strong enough um, to do what you would like to do and bring into the world. Take your time and think about it. Be more businesslike if you're not meeting a new man. If that is what you wish, you will be meeting a new man. Okay as if you as you have the card recognition also a 10 okay to an 8 is 10 an ending a new beginning so there might be a new man because if i was doing a one-to-one -one reading this would be the future line so the uh, energy in the future line means that you could be meeting a new uh boss a new uh prospective partner in business or in love um, but I think this reading is more about career and uh, work than about love as we have a lot of cards that relate to business because a man is more business minded um, than a lady nowadays it's more 50 50 uh, ladies do work so perhaps you might be meeting a lady that is career orientated and more steadfast and more masculine her masculinity might be showing up but I think you will be more career orientated this week or focused on a study you are wanting to get out of the cage okay and out of your comfort zone to gain the knowledge because if you shut yourself off you cannot gain love you cannot um, if you if you don't open your heart you cannot uh, um, you cannot receive love because you won't be shining that out towards the world if you've got your mind closed you cannot sink in uh, the mind is a sponge sink in the knowledge okay so I think you want to get out of the cage and to make your life more secure by advancing your knowledge and climb up the ladder and get more money so you can buy that house or you can go on holiday twice a year wow great stuff and at the bottom we have the dog you might realize that a friend of yours is a trustworthy and a loyal friend luck is on your side don't hold on to old friends that are um, well you see the flea here on the dog and you don't want to hold on to old friends that are of no use to you like you are being the host to them don't be the host don't let yourself be sucked dry because that is what a flea does a flea sucks the host's blood 
so don't let anybody suck you dry you are actually moving from 18 which is a 9 to a 10 okay and you are climbing the ladder so you are getting out of your comfort zone and step by step like um, the pentacles you are building something steady and slowly and surely now the first card that I have for you is self-reflection yes how do you see yourself do you see yourself as dull fragile scared then others will see that too be able to look in the mirror and see how far you've come and how beautiful you are and all that you have achieved this is a waning moon this is the waning gibbous number one self-reflection be curious about your own nature choose to turn inward to quietly contemplate who and what you are and want the more you know about yourself the more you are able to steer yourself well know what you believe and why yet be open to the development of new beliefs and ways of being so take that blindfold off and come out of your comfort zone spread your wings fly leave the coop behind or the group especially if they have no good influence on you then we go to the postcard from spirit and it says with love right at the bottom and it is an angel or a mermaid blowing the horn of plenty abundance dearest you if you allow your awareness to settle in you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you you will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world the receiver for this kind of essential knowing is your intuition which is not your sixth sense but your first the primarily navigational system of your soul you are entering the age of consciousness it's time to accept that your that the paranormal is normal human beings are multi-sensory multi-dimensional beings spirit infuses all things and your soul's job is to discover those essential truths here on earth where we all agree to play today trust your spidey senses read between the lines tune into the stories behind the stories and your world will show you miracles fear not coming out of your comfort zone read between the lines he's studying here okay so look further than the stories look for the stories behind the stories and your world will show you miracles fear not for we are right here and spirit loves you trust the invisible and that could even be a loved one that is passed over to the other realm a grandmother a mother a father because we've got the man here or a grandfather and then we have the uh, mystical shaman card the rainmaker and you've got 42 which becomes a six so that is a form of balance and anything with water or rain so um, rain we need water to grow the plants need water to grow and that's why we have ups and downs we've got droughts 
sometimes our life is quiet and the next thing it's pouring down. The rainmaker is the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good when the power to co-create is used with integrity great beauty and benefit flow to all when this power is used for personal gain only everyone suffers when the earth is parched the rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens and all that is dormant in the fields and in people's hearts spring to life again like we need to grow open your heart and your mind the task or the invitation to the rainmaker is the rainmaker is calling you to create something new from the elements that are already in your life be sure you work with that what is and not with the what might be or could have been so leave the past don't la uh, don't hold on to useless friendships or relationships the seeds that have been silently germinating in your heart will burst forth ready for the sunlight do not hold back put all your chips on the next roll of the divine dice wow that is so beautiful so go forth and come out of your little shell come out of your comfort zone there are big things going to happen so long you take the first step first step sorry and trust that help is there and look at yourself see how far you have come self-reflection that is how people see you as well and sometimes people see you differently than you see yourself you are beautiful you are unique but you have to learn to see it and to want it you have 17 so again you are in your strength number eight you've got two numbers here two eights you've got nine and eighteen is nine is a nine two nines you've got two tens so believe in yourself come out of your comfort zone spread those wings spread your arms and fly I hope you have enjoyed this reading Sagittarius I did it's a beautiful week ahead and um, remember please like and uh, give us the likes on the video and see whether you can get to the top of the list and be the first one to get your reading next week and please share as much as possible with friends acquaintances colleagues whomever and I will I do go live Monday Wednesday and Friday and if you would like to have a free card then please join us and uh, a lot of people are not getting notified um, so I am I'm also notifying you on via Facebook Instagram or in the community tab of YouTube so have a look at around the 6 p.m. European time uh, where, what time I go alive I love you all and take care and be safe and be blessed enjoy your week thank you